Good morning people of the internet. I wanted to get on here and throw you a video together about Facebook pages. I've been asked a few times over the last couple of weeks what a Facebook page is, how to set it up, that sort of thing, and also what the difference between a page and a group is. So first I'm going to address the page and group thing because sometimes it can get a bit confusing. Which one do I actually need for what I'm trying to do? So. Groups are exactly what they say. They're a group of people with like-minded interests that you think are all going to join in the conversation. So, for example, you might have a bunch of people that are really into crafts of some sort, and you might make a group based around that craft so people can, can just bounce forwards and backwards, have a conversation with each other. Now, it's very much like getting them all in a room and all just chatting away about this thing they're interested in. So if it's something like that, if it's some sort of actual physical group outside of the internet, or if it's based around some common interest amongst you, then a group's a good way to go because you can all join in, you can all give your knowledge, you can all share ideas. But if you're trying to represent like a brand or a website or a company or something like that, then you want a page. The reason for this is the page is actually the, the entity, it's the being, it's the brand, it's the company, like I said. So what you can do is you can actually make this page and then people come to your page and see what you're all about or what your item is all about. And they can still join in, but it's not quite the same conversation type thing. They, you put posts up there to represent whatever it is you're representing. They can join in, they can comment, all these sort of things. So basically, if you are a group of people that would normally chitter chatter away over a coffee about something, make a group because you can all join in on equal measure. If you want to be representing a figure, a celebrity, company, something like that, then you want a page because then you've got the branding of the page, but people can still join in, but you get to represent it better. So hopefully that's cleared up the group and the page issue. So now that you know which one you want, I'm going to show you how to do pages in this particular video. If you want me to do a groups video, then just let me know and I'll do one of those as well. But it's very easy to do. So how do you go about creating a page, right? All you've got to do is you've got to come to Facebook and then you'll either on the left hand side, you'll have like a part with pages in it already. And you can just click on the pages tab. I'll show you how to do that here. And it'll say create a page at the top of here. Or you can go up to the address bar and do facebook.com forward slash pages and hit return. And it will come up with this page here and at the top right here you can see it says create a page so we click on create a page and you come to this page now this page here is asking you what your page is going to be about now there's some obvious ones and there's some not so obvious ones so i will go through them all just quickly okay if you're an actual physical location uh like you've got a local business and you try and represent that with a page then choose local business or place because it gives you the options to put things in like your address um physical locations and it will also do uh, little cool things like add little maps and things like that so if you're an actual physical location go for that one okay company organization or institution this is where you're not a physical uh, address as such but you are some sort of brand um, like this might mean you're a one-man band or uh, you might have a company for say your clown outfit and you haven't got an actual physical address that people can come to and say hey I want to hire a clown but you are actually a company and you are clowns Inc so you would come here and you would do that and again it gives you similar options but it's not so physical. Brand or product, exactly what it says. So if you own something, if you've got some sort of uh, some sort of item that you're making, or maybe you've got a course that you want to sell, that sort of thing, you want to make a page for that, then you would choose this. Artist band or public figure, pretty obvious. If you want to represent yourself as a like an actual person, or if you're like a singer, obviously if you're a band, then you would come on here and you would choose that. Entertainment is something to do with entertainment, so like a book or a TV show, that sort of thing. If So if you're trying to represent that, then you could choose that. And cause or community is exactly what it says. It's uh, it's not quite, it's not a group because it's a page, but it is, it's a community page. So it's somewhere where people come and they would share their ideas based around a certain thing. Or obviously if you're a charity or something like that, then you could put it down as a cause. It also lets you choose the official page of it. So if you're doing something, where you're trying to represent it yourself and then you can actually add yourself and say hey I'm actually representing this this real page this official page here now for most of what we do which is making up fan pages in order to build up likes and just get things flowing and you know ultimately maybe sell to them or just to have some sort of community that we can talk to about the things we do in internet marketing we actually usually come to brand or product so that's what I'm going to do now. So nine times out of 10, I've explained the other ones. If they fit for you, you're a real business or you know, you're know you a charity or whatever, then pick the one for you. But I'm going to go through brand or product because that's the majority of the ones that you will be doing. Once you click through to your brand or product, it gives you a drop down for categories. Now what you do is you put your 
page into whatever category it fits into best. So obviously have a look, see what it is. If it's about certain things, then it's gonna very obviously go into certain categories. So um, if you're trying to advertise your own brand or product, like say you've like Pocket Age Promotion, for example, then I would come in here and I would actually make a page. I would probably actually make it a company anyway, but if I wanted to make it a brand, because I am trying to brand it rather than making it an actual company, I would come down here, you would choose website, and then that gives you the chance to put your official website URL in there as well, okay? So for this one, just for the sake of it, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna go to website. So now that the website's chosen, I'm actually not gonna use Pocket Age Promotion because I've already got a page for that and it will tell me that I already own one. So I'm gonna do one for my new product that I'm bringing out in a couple of months time, which is called Video Shark. And don't worry, you'll be the first to know about it once I've got some stuff up and running with it, but it's coming along nicely. So click on Get Started. And it brings you through to the next page. It asks you what it's about. So add a description and a website to improve the ranking of your page in search. Now, that's a very good point is these do rank in search. They're probably talking about Facebook search at the moment so that when you type in the top and that you're searching for something, it comes up. But Facebook pages also rank in normal Google. So it's very good to put some keywords in here, some things that you wanna be found for because it's just another asset for you. So we're gonna add a quick description here. I'm not gonna go too mad on this. So if I just pause this for a minute and then come back to it. So all I've done is I've added a nice little uh, description here. It only gives you a certain amount of characters to do it, so I've modified it slightly, but I've, I've just explained basically what Video Shark is, okay? Then I've added the URL here to the official website, and then it's asked me if it's a real business product or brand. Now, obviously you could have a product where you've come up with a name and it's not a real it's not a real thing it's just a you know you're, you've called yourself coke to go with the clown thing again you've called yourself coco the amazing clown now it might not be an actual brand you may not be actually making stuff you just want to set up a page based around clowning so that's why you've come up with this thing now mine is actually is an actual uh, product or brand because it's going to be released so therefore i put yes if you put no then that's that's not a problem either and then it also asks you if you're going to be the official representation of that because, like I said, you could be making a page based around someone. In fact, most of the time, you'd be making a page based around someone else's stuff, like maybe a TV show or something like that, in which case you would say, no, it's not. Then it would give, if I click on no there, it would actually give you a chance to pick the page that is the official page. Okay, now I don't usually fill that in, if I'm honest, um, even if I do click no, but if you wanted to, then you could do there's no There's no harm in it. And then you save the info. Right now, the profile picture, I haven't actually got anything to do with uh, Video Shark at the moment. Like I say, it's still in production. But what you need, you want a nice profile picture that represents your business, your brand, whatever it is that you're trying to do. So I will just go and grab something quickly. So there you go, I've uh, uploaded this thumb picture just because it was something that was on my computer quickly. Just so you can see that all you do is you click upload from computer and you do or you can import from website if your website is already set up, in which case you can uh, grab the logo from there, okay? Then click on next. It says add to favorites. Now all this means is like in your, um, on your left hand side of your Facebook page, you have a favorites thing so it's easier to get to. So I tend to add them to there, especially if they're my pages. So I'll just add that to favorites. And then you click next. And that is my page built, okay? Now this is the page manager. I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip that. It it's asking me to like the page, but because there's nothing, I'm, this is kind of a demo and I'm not actually setting it up probably, I'm not going to, I'm gonna wait until I've added some content, okay? So I'm gonna skip that, but you could do that. You can also invite all your email people, so if it's based on a website you already own, you've got a mailing list, then you can throw your uh, email contact list in there and invite them to say, to uh, come and like it, okay? Now this is the page manager admin panel. And as you can see, we've got nothing going on at the moment, but if we were to get messages through, they end up here. Notifications of people liking, sharing, they all come here. We can promote the page by make it, doing Facebook ads, which is what we've been talking about. Uh, insights, it tells you who's been here, when, what times, all that sort of thing. Uh, and then you've got all your friends here. So anyone that you're friends with, you can actually go to see all and you can actually invite them all to your page. But again, I would wait until you've got something on it, okay? And then this here, you can literally just click hide and it'll hide it up. Now. There's a new layout, as I'm writing this, there is a new layout coming out for pages. Uh, they seem to change things every five minutes, don't they? But I'm gonna put join waitlist for that anyway, because might as well, because it's gonna, it's gonna happen sooner or later. So it just means that when the update comes out for my page, it will do it for me. Okay, now, as you can see, we've got the profile picture here. We've got the title of our page here. We've got the thing that we said about here, the website here. Now, a good tip with this is to actually put your URL for your website within this about part as well. So if we click on this, 
it'll take us to the page where we can edit it. We can edit. I could have done this when I actually did it in the first place, but I wanted to show you this page anyway. Okay, so I've come through, clicked on the about thing, clicked on the edit, and it's brought me to this page here. Now, I need to fill all this in, but I'm not going to while you're sat here because it's gonna make this video unnecessarily long. But you can see all the different things you've gotta do. Now, you've got the name of it, you've got what you are, you've got, you can put your actual physical address in there, you can change the descriptions, you can put all sorts of stuff. Uh, company overviews, long descriptions, it's worth filling all this in and adding a few of your keywords in there as well because they do get picked up by the search engines. Uh, you've got different products, phone numbers, email address, official page if you want to link it to that official page, okay, Facebook ID. Now when you get to a certain point, you can click on here, enter the Facebook web address, all right, now what this is, you know when you type in uh, at the top of Facebook and it's like a forward slash and then it's the name of the, the page. So for example, my Facebook page, my Pocket Ace Promotion page is facebook.com forward slash Pocket Ace Promotion. Now you can't actually do that until you've got 25 likes on your page. 25 likes is fairly easy to get, even if you just ask friends and family to do it. As soon as you have 25 likes, come in here and change it to a recognizable URL, to a recognizable page name, because then you can share it out and about and it'll make sense, okay? So whatever your brand product is, if the name has gone, just add something to the end like the year that it was formed or maybe uh, you know my at the beginning something like that, just to change it up a bit if the page name's gone that you really want okay but if it has gone obviously there might be a product out there with the same name just check that it's not clashing maybe even do that before you take these steps okay um, so that's what you're doing there you fill all those in you can add extra admins now I've got me as an admin, you can actually add someone else, so if you're in partnership with someone, you can type in their name or email, it will find their Facebook page, uh, Facebook profile, and you can add them as an admin. It's worth having at least two admins on anything just in case something goes wrong and your, pay, your profile gets blocked or something, you would then lose control of this page, so maybe have to try and have two admins at, at least. And that's pretty much it. The general stuff you've got here tells you what's going on. If we go back to the actual page by clicking on view page up here, See, there's nothing on here at the moment, but this is where you would start your page up. So you would click on here, you would add your status. Post away. It's a bit like when you do your normal status update, but now it's posted as the page. That's something to remember as well, is if you look at the top here, it says I'm posting, commenting, and liking as Video Shark. All right, I can change back to Alex Copeland. This is actually a good way to promote your page. We'll get onto that in a different video, but you can actually go off to other pages that are quite similar, and you can start posting, liking, sharing as the page instead of as you. Now people will see that, they will see your link, they'll click through to your link, and they will hopefully like your page if they're interested. That's it for this video, and as usual, if you can subscribe to the channel if you're on YouTube, that would be awesome. Sign up to the mailing list if you're on the website. Click like, share, whatever, throw it on LinkedIn, do some other jazzy stuff with all those Web 2.0 shenanigans, and the more the merrier, basically, and I hope you're enjoying all these things that I'm putting on for you. So thanks very much. Hopefully that sorted out some of the problems that people were having with pages. Leave me a comment if you need me to cover anything else in more depth. Take care of yourselves. Have an awesome day, and I'll speak to you real soon.